Hi, thanks for watching today. I am going to show you how to make these awesome name pictures that are shown in these two pictures here. Follow me along. So if you're looking to make the sign the cheapest way possible, we are going to use the Baltic birch for the background and we are going to cut the letters out with the MDF since they're going to be sprayed. Um, so these are the two types of wood we are going to use. Um, the border is going to use this wood and like I said, the letters will be cut with that. So you can choose any type of um, lettering that you would like, um, any text. This text I have here is called About Love, and I believe the font I'm using down here is, um, double check again, it's called Noteworthy. So after you have your text that you want to use, you can go ahead and click outline on this side over here create a new outline and that's going to create a, an outline around the whole entire name so we'll wait for that to load oh you know what i just had this selected so we are going to undo that and we're going to select the entire thing and then we're going to select our outline over here create new outline <clears throat> And you'll see the outline over here and you can adjust the size to whatever you would like we're gonna make it a little bigger because we don't want any of these little spaces that you see here in our name where it would look a little funny so we're gonna keep making it bigger it's nice that you can just adjust it and there we go that's probably a good size so you, size. So you can create um, new outline and we're going to get rid of this inner one here we're going to uh, um, make this a cut and we are going to score this and then we are going to after um, we're gonna go ahead and click print and cut and then after that we are going to get rid of our outline and turn this into a cut only. So it's going to cut the name exactly how it is like this. So the first board that you are going to be um, scoring and creating that outline is on your Baltic birch uh, or any other high quality wood. Um, I do have the score lines in here. So the cut letters that are cutting right now can easily just be placed um, right on top so we don't have to guess when we're lining it up and stuff. So um, this is cutting right now. It's looking good so far. So once our letters are all cut we're going to make sure we have them all and don't forget about the little tiny dots for the eye. So I'm working on two names actually and here's our first one. So I am working on two different names here. I did just do the girl's name and the pink that's over there. And we are going to be doing the boys next. I did the boys a different font. Um, just because uh, I'm not sure which way that one goes. I'll have to check that. Um, just because the mom didn't want the boys like the curse with the cursive you look. So we are going to go ahead and spray paint this and make sure it is covered really well. We do not want to do two coats of that, this, so we want to make sure that the first coat is done correctly right away. Um, if you do two coats, it is going to end up sprinkling. That's kind of how that is, so we want to avoid that. So do your best to totally cover it the first time and it is actually sprinkling out here so we are going to move this inside and I will show you what to do okay if I leave this here it is going to end up sticking so we are just going to move it over using this because we don't want it sticking to oops I'm have to respray that one we don't want it to stick to this um, paint that we sprayed down here this is the other one that I sprayed. These work great. They're just um, cookie sheets. And then I got these pans from Ikea. All right, and 
the signs are done.